and welcome to Doubling in Journals and today I've got my unboxing of my Lacau Traveller's Notebook that I ordered for my birthday and it's just two days after my birthday so that wasn't too long to wait was it and I can't wait to see it I don't know whether any of you saw I know one of you did on his YouTube channel he did show my product there it comes. Ooh, get rid of that. So we've got some nice blue tissue paper with his sticker with a cow on it. Because his shop is called La Cow. If you order from his online store, it's called La Cow. And if you order from Etsy, it's La Right. But it's the same maker, Diamond. And this is what I got. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, wow, wow, oh this is so lovely, so he does, you have a choice of different ways to fasten it, you can choose, I sent, I did a design and then I sent it to him and he looks to me like he's followed it, exactly. Perfect. Oh my goodness. So I had a zipper put here so I can keep cash or anything else that I want to keep safe. And then I have a pocket here. I can stick receipts or whatever I want to do. There's a pocket here. I can put credit cards in if I want to or ephemera. Another pocket here, pocket here, a pocket here. Oh, and this is funny. When I saw when he was showing this product on his channel, he said, the customer chose this surprisingly bright green. <laughs> I don't think he said surprisingly, but he sounded surprised. And I didn't mean to, I put the wrong, I checked my order, I put the wrong number in. <laughs> you put the number of the colour elastic you wanted and I put in the number for the lime green rather than the olive green, because I'm stupid, but never mind, doesn't matter. Now let's see what fits. Hmm, I think what I might do is I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to pull out some things and I'll set it up. Okay, so I've got a few bits out that I want to try in my new notebook. It's so exciting. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I don't think I said actually, this is the glossy nude leather. So that will patina and darken over time. And this is this beautiful green, which is all textured. This one's smooth. This one's textured is the matcha leather. And I have a couple of bits that I want to put in here. So let's see how they fit. Now I've already shown you that this is what I'm going to use for my Hobonichi challenge next year. So I'm not going to start using this notebook until January when I start the Hobonichi challenge because I thought I'm going to do December daily in December <laughs> so I thought I'd start this in January otherwise I might get a bit overwhelmed and I want to pop it if it fits yeah in the back pocket so this has two ooh, it's a bit tight which is good because it's not going to wriggle around oh. okay so I've got that, is it straight? Not quite straight. So with a little bit of fiddling and wriggling, you can get that into the pack pocket. And there is another folio pocket here if I wanted to use that or if I wanted to put that in both or whatever. But I do want to add an insert. So I bought this and unboxed it recently from Frau Tassillo on Etsy. In case you didn't see the unboxing, I'll link her store below and this is another little zipper pouch and because this is going to be a Hobonichi sort of sketch challenge so I'm going to try and do a daily sketch with a little bit of whatever I feel like journaling of some kind or another I need to put my prompt list in here but I'll do that when I set it up for January I just want to see how things look in here for now so I've got this little pouch which I thought might be really cool for supplies now it's made of paper but it's very sturdy and difficult to tear so I'll be really interested to see how it holds up because I love the colour and I love the look of it and the scrunchiness 
and it looks gorgeous with my green leather I'm so chuffed with that so I'm going to put that in here so I've got a string here and I might put a little notebook now I bought an A6 notebook a while back which I think I showed on on a video at some point I can't find it <laughs> That's a trip when you buy things. I've I've had such I've tried to declutter my art room, but I can't always remember where I've put everything. So I need to find that. But for now, just as a placeholder, I'll put my little sticker release book in here because that's on my table anyway. So I will have an insert in here of some sort. Okay, and then I want to see how how it goes if I let's see how that looks. So obviously that fits beautifully. I say obviously, but I suppose it's not that obvious. But that it's going to when it's new and you don't know and you haven't purchased from the seller before. And the stitching's beautiful. It's really, really lovely. I mean, there's a little bit of a wonky bit here, but that's because he's had to try and squish in the zip that I asked for, which wasn't sort of his design. But I still think it looks really good, the stitching. Okay, so I've put that in. I've put my little pocket in and a book. Oh, and I've got a pen. Now, I <laughs> I did a sneaky purchase and I didn't tell you guys. I bought the new Kaweco little fountain pen in olive green because I thought it would look nice with this and it does. So I've got that to pop in my pen loop. And it's a really big pen loop, so you could get whatever pen you wanted in there. And then I wanted to put some art supplies in my little pouch, because I thought it'd be really cool. All I'm going to be doing in here is sketching and probably colouring in with watercolour. And then writing, obviously, so I need a pen to write. And then I thought it'd be really cool to have the sketching kit in here. So I have this little teeny tiny watercolour palette from arttoolkit.co.com I think it is I'll link below and I've got my little colour chart of the colours that I put in it and it's really teeny tiny <laughs> so I thought it might fit in one of these pouches so I've got that and so I'm going to pop that in a pouch and then I will obviously I think I need a clean piece <laughs> but I'll put this in for now this is just a little rag wiping my brush a little bit of laminated white card for mixing colors on or trying colors on I think I could fit a a6 one in here so I'll make a bigger one but I'll pop that in there for now and then I've got a little watercolor brush and two reservoirs so if I, I I should fill both of them up and then when one is all gone I can use the other one I only need one brush head so a little watercolor brush and then in this side, which will be drier, I think I will put my little colour chart I made. I will put a little piece of, this is just a little piece of kneaded eraser that I can use when I'm sketching or to take the sketch off. I've got a pencil stamp for blending pencil. And what I need to find is a pencil that will fit in here. And I don't know if I have one. I've got a little mechanical one here. That I think it's broken. But I'll probably try and find just a, an ordinary pencil that's short. Because I've already used some of it up. So once it gets small enough to fit in my little pouch. But I'll put that one in for now. Okay. And these pockets I will decorate when I set it up. Ready for January. I will put pop something in here and some decorations in here. I've got a zipper, so if I want to put my bank card or some cash in there, I can to take out and about with me. And let's fold it all up and see how she looks. Is she going to be too bulky? I don't know why I think she's a girl. <laughs> she's a notebook. She has no gender. She has no gender, that makes no sense. Okay. 
that's really cool that's so compact and I've got everything I need there to go out and about and sketch or if I just want to go into my family room and sketch or into the garden and when you're trying to do a sketch a day it's really cool if it's quite portable so that you can fit it into your day without too much trouble isn't that gorgeous everybody I'm gonna to want to hold it and hold it now <laughs> whenever I get a new notebook I want to hold it and hold it and of course everything's protected because it's like a trifold and then when I want to use it Ta da easy peasy I mean this might be a bit bulky but not once I've took the things out or I could take the whole thing out if it's a bit bulky for actually drawing on and it's not like it's difficult to just slip the little pouch in and out oh wow what do you think people do you like my new little notebook this is in the A6 size. I can't remember if I said that. Well, you'd be able to tell that because it's got a Hobonichi in. And wow, I love it. I really do love it. And I love this. And I'm really looking forward to having some fun decorating all these little places. But I'm not going to do that yet because I already have loads of videos that I want to put up. And I'll say I'm going to save this one for my January 2022 setup. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Diamond. I don't know if you'll watch this video, I doubt it. But if you did, thank you so much. And obviously I'll write a review on your shop. And wow, he's so talented. And he's so open to trying anything. So any design that you want, he'll give it a go. <laughs> um, oh, it's so cool. I can't stop looking at it. But... I need to stop looking at it and say goodbye to you all and thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed seeing my birthday present for 2021 and I'm not telling you how old I am because I'm far too old <laughs> and a lady never reveals her age and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.